I've been pondering a soul-crushing realization as of late that sort of has been at the back of my mind for the last decade or so, but something that never really seemed concrete to me until more recently, and that is the fact, well, probably fact, that Kane Hodder, the man, the myth, the legend himself, the Jason Voorhees for a huge bulk of, if not the majority of Friday the 13th fans, will most likely never play Jason Voorhees in a live action feature film ever again. I understand that he recently did the video game stuff as Jason, which is incredibly cool, and he still does horror movies here and there, still does conventions, and I assume he will probably keep playing Victor Crowley for as long as he can, but I just don't see us ever having our wishes granted as far as seeing him in the role for any F-13 venture going forward, which sucks big time when you think about it. Not because Jason X was a bad movie to end his Jason stint on, quite the contrary, Jason X kicks a major ass and has a huge fucking cult following in and of itself, but probably because of what happened regarding Freddy vs. Jason. Ken Kersinger aside, what you think of the film itself aside, Kane should have been Jason in that movie. The fight between Freddy and Jason that had been built up for years and years at that point wasn't just a fight between Freddy and Jason that audiences wanted, but a fight between Freddy and Jason played by Robert England and Kane Hodder respectively, not just Robert England and some guy as Jason. Now again, I know a lot of you enjoy that movie and Ken Kersinger in the role, and I'd be lying if I said I hated anything from that movie truly, but understand that I'm not being negative about the film itself. I'm shedding light on how shitty a situation that was and is for both Kane Hodder himself and us longtime F-13 fans. That was the fight we wanted, and what we got, well, wasn't. Enjoyable? Sure. Entertaining? Sure. What we wanted? No. And think about this. Jason X was 20 years ago this year. This year being 2022. If you're watching this in any other year, then it's even older. And that movie was filmed a year or two before that. It's been a long, long time since Kane played Jason in a movie. And the fact that so many people still want him back in the role is a testament to how good of a job he did. And like Robert England's Freddy Krueger, if they were to announce a new version of Freddy vs. Jason today, I guarantee you that you'd be hearing fans shouting nothing but Robert England and Kane Hodder. Now, as of this year, Kane is 67 years old, so he's definitely starting to get up there in years especially for a stuntman like him who's been through so much and has played these grueling roles for so long. But 67 isn't too old. He could still kick ass as Jason if he wanted to, and if the studios were to cast him back in the role. I mean, he's still playing Victor Crowley, right? That role is no less grueling than Jason's. In fact, it might be more grueling. So for anybody saying he's too old, kiss my ass. I mean, sure. If they waited another 15 years to make a Friday movie, yeah, he'd probably be too old. But if they were to make it within the next two to five years, have a good plan, make sure he doesn't have to do any of the crazy, crazy stunts himself, and so on, Kane could definitely play Jason again, in the same way Robert England could still play Freddy, if they just planned things correctly and were smart about it. But alas, I digress. Because as much as we want Kane Hodder back in the role of Jason, it probably won't happen. I'm not going to say it won't happen for sure because anything is possible and I cannot predict the future. But it probably won't. Here's to hoping though. <laughs>